the end of the day, and think about our future, our children's future, and our children's children's future, I cannot help but wonder what the world is going to be like if we keep using pesticides the way that we do. They might look out on the fields and see no birds. They might go fishing, and there won't be any fish in the rivers. They might go catch frogs that have three legs instead of four. This is a hypothetical look on our future if we continue using pesticides the way we do. I think that we are eating way too much conventional food, and it is bad for us. According to MayoClinic.com, updated on August 2nd of 2011, the word organic refers to the way farmers grow, process, and um, agricultural products such as fruits, vegetables, grains, dairy products, and meat. According to the USDA and FDA website, last edited on 2006, the U.S. Department of Agricultural, um, which is what USDA stands for, has national standards for using the word organic. The food needs to be 95% made of organic materials to put organic on their label. And according to the OTA website, copyright 2012, which is the Organic Trade, Trade Association, Organic food and beverage sales represent only approximately 4% of overall food and beverage sales in 2002, <coughs> leading where organic foods and vegetables, which now represent over 11% of all U.S. fruits and vegetable sales. They also go on to say that the U.S. sales of organic food and beverages have grown from $1 billion in 1990 to $27 billion in 2010. They also say that globally, the U.S., Germany, and France have the largest um, markets for organic foods. The effects of conventional food, how it's not good for you. Er, it tastes, er, taste is a definitely an individual matter, but there are hundreds of gourmet chefs across America who choose organic food over conventional for their food because of taste. According to the USDA and FDA website last edited in 2000, most meats in America have grown from hormones and they live in poor conditions. Therefore, we should have more pasteurized foods. They also go on to say that conventional food has too many pesticides. Also, Conventional growers use pesticides to protect their crops from molds, insects, and diseases. When farmers spray pesticides, this can leave a residue on the product, which can then go into your digestive system. It also hurts the environment. As a result of overabundance of nitrogen, groundwater supplies, and runoffs, there are dead zones in America where bodies of water no longer have fish that they once did. According to the Mayo Clinic, Organic farming practices are designed to encourage soil and water conservation and reduce pollution. And the Organic Trade Association says the organic farming can help reduce ground and water contamination. It can also safeguard drinking water supplies for the future. I need you to go buy organic food over conventional. Next time you're in the grocery store, I want you to buy the organic version of stuff. Buy USDA approved food because it's 90% organic. And make sure the food says organic and not natural. They don't mean the same thing. This will help you in a few ways. It will keep your kids safer by consuming less pesticides. It will help you by eating more fruits and vegetables because they taste better. And it will pollute the soil less. Things will get better if my plan is followed. People will become healthier, and they will consume fewer pesticides. And who knows, maybe if you do this, someone else will catch on, and they might start buying more organic food. And then more and more people will buy organic food. It will also help the environment, because there will be less pesticides in the water. So then fishing will be better for people like Chet. So go out and eat healthier. Go to your local grocery stores and buy some organic food rather than conventional. If you do this, 
Maybe a friend will do this, and pretty soon in America, we'll all be organic. So please, go try to eat more organic food.